This is YouTube University's Automotive Locksmith course. Lesson 2, Wired Remotes Explained. So when should you use these wired remotes? Well, there are two types of wired remotes. The flip key kind and the keyless entry. Right, so I'm gonna go over the keyless entry when I think you should use it, right? Well, whenever the client has an addition key and he doesn't necessarily want a whole new key, you could just hand them one of these, you know? I had a, I didn't have the, it wasn't for a Honda, right? The remote head key is typically this one right here, right? But he only had the ignition key, the blackhead part. And the, he always had to leave the door open because um his ignition key couldn't open the driver's door because it had to be rekeyed. I guess uh, it was busted or something, but he didn't want to pay for that. So I'm like, okay, so what can I do? I made him a wire remote, onboard program, procedure, easy money. It was it to unlock and unlock the vehicle and do everything I needed to do. So that's why I handed him that. Now, this is for, I guess, when they wanted an ignition key and a keyless entry remote, but, but it's for a non-transponder vehicle transponder vehicle typically i use this for like metal keys and the keyless entry remote this is a popular one because there are a lot of keyless entry remotes that had the lock unlock and panic right that's a very popular build even now that's still something i don't know why xhorse didn't make a a wireless and a super remote version of the three button but whatever but they made one with a trunk that doesn't really come up that often here, but whatever. So those are the, pretty much the main options. Non-transponder vehicles with a keyless entry remote, you can make them into one. So a lot of Kias, you'll use these. A lot of uh, vehicles that have an onboard programming typically use these. And that's when you'll use it. But sometimes you will get one with a chip, right? Maybe a specialty chip. And that's what this one's for. So I'm gonna use my pry tool, there go. right? And you have the chip holder here. You'd put whatever chip you needed, or you clone the X27 chip. You slip it in, and boom. You know, if it requires some sort of special chip that cannot be cloned, or for whatever reason you you just need to use this. So that's another instance of when to use that one so those are the, some of the times that'll come up also it'll just help you when you're starting out keep the stock a little bit lower and focus on you know maybe having phobic remotes proximity remotes that can always you know there are a bunch of them can always be generated you know while in the meantime until you get them until you get the stock you need so there's some those are some examples These are all my favorite XRS remotes. So whatever supplier you use, if you type in the name above, that specific one will pop up, right? Like style. I think these are the one, best ones I'll have on hand. Some of these are only because of the aesthetics. Like I like this one with non-transponder vehicles with four buttons as the keyless entry remote. This one is a specialty remote. Also, my customers really like this because this one's significantly heavier. So it seems like stronger and better quality but yeah these are the, the all the ones with the name above are the ones i use and you can tap them to any supplier and that specific model will pop up i mean you'll decide which ones you like best but these are the ones i utilize personally to generate an xforce wide remote well i'm going to generate a 2013 nissan versa I already found the frequency i'm going to use that one right there There you go, that's the one. So I'm gonna use my pipe. So 
see how that plugs in. Gives it power. Oops. Now I'm generating the remote. Just writing the data. Complete. Perfect. Now I'm going to put it back together. CR2032 battery. Now let's program this remote. See if it works. So I'm going to program this x -Force remote. It uses a simple onboard program procedure, right? So I'm going to lock the door the door panel I'm gonna insert the key things in six times one two three four five six so it's programming mode turn it on okay press that one and then unlock then lock then press the button in the original remote so turn off the car unlock the door now I should test the remotes. So, lock, unlock. Now I'm going to press. There we go. So things are perfect. The original one. Okay. So that's how you do it with an Xbox remote.